more ancient history jewelry stories. You all know by now that I love a good diadem, especially one with a good story. And not only is this truly one of the most beautiful diadems I've seen, but it came with its own little mystery. This is an ancient Sarmatian diadem dating back to the first century CE. I briefly mentioned the Sarmatians in my story about the Parthian Sarmatian necklace and amulet, which are the most expensive privately held gold artifacts in the world. The Sarmatians were part of the Iranian steppe people, along with the Saka and the Scythians. This diadem was found in the tomb of what was either a queen or a priestess, or possibly someone who was both. Whoever she was, she was a woman of great stature and importance, as evidenced by the fine quality of her grave goods. The date of her grave coincides with the lifetime of a Sarmatian queen named Amaga, leading some archaeologists to speculate that this tomb and diadem may have belonged to her. The diadem is made out of gold, glass, garnet, pearls, coral, turquoise, and amethyst. It's made in three hinged parts, and if you look closely, you'll notice that the center figure, which is an image of a goddess, probably a fertility goddess, is carved out of banded amethyst, with the darker portion of the stone being meant to represent her hair. At the center top, there is a motif that you might recognize as the tree of life. Why the mystery? Well, when you look for this diadem, you are likely to come across pictures of what look like two completely different crowns. Now, they're similar enough that I wasn't sure if some photos were showing the piece before and after repair. In fact, this graphic shows both, and refers to the second image as a detail of the diadem, despite them clearly being two different diadems. One has its full ornamentation all along the top, while the other has a fuller fringe of beads on the bottom. Both show the center carving with banded amethyst, with the darker portion on the top. I spent over an hour cross-referencing, Google image searching, translating pages from Russian and Georgian, and it was finally here on the University of Washington website, way deep in some old index, that I finally found reference to one of these being a copy. That solved my little mystery. I have to say, the copy is very well made, and probably dates back to around the time when the tomb was first discovered, in the 19-teens. This is a really good example of why you should always do your own research. Things get thrown around on the internet so many times that they eventually lose their context and meaning. The original diadem, and I assume the copy as well, are being held in the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, Russia.